to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. There are people today carrying hepatitis, A, B, and whatever. It's, they don't have... When you go to the hospital and say, I have hepatitis, they ask you who had it in your family. Even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference. There is such a possibility. The fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit. The fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand I have watched sincere people, a Jimmy, bound sincerely. There are pastors today as anointed as whatever. You look at them, you think it's the Holy Spirit. No growth, no increase. And it's not only ministry, it's a pattern. Anointed, born again, nothing happens. No growth, no increase. How many people have they thrown away? from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they did here he said look let me explain to you my papers were complete they said come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump HIV, cancer. See it killing men now. Once a man is 45 years old, he starts getting afraid. Ask the doctors, they will tell you. Prostrate cancer. Once people start getting to 45, 46, they are, now, they are now afraid because of cancer. Once a lady is approaching 28, 29, even doctors start saying marry fast too because any moment from now, and every stranger will start growing. So once you are 30 and you are not married, they will tell you, look, there's no room to hearing God. Just hurry up and get all your children fast. How many do you plan to have? Five. You need at least 10 years. Hurry up and catch up. It's nonsense. The devil is a liar this night. Patterns. How about barrenness? A trace of it. How about fruitfulness? But that not productive. You give birth to 10 children, all of them are useless. There are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the wedding. Now, they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else. They don't know themselves. But it happened. I have counseled people like that. Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing as that. And tonight, God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion. It is not just about what Christ has done. It is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart. We have claimed things that we don't know anything about. Let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know. I think it was you, Sam, I was talking to. Minis the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years. You are a ministry in Zaria. If you survive three years, you know the mystery of continuity. 
after three years something must arise attempting to rubbish your life a scandal are we together one kind of failure something will just evolve out of nowhere there are so many people especially music artists they've risen from zaria men of god risen from zaria but you don't know where they are today you see a musician just appears and for six months he's been invited everywhere and after that you just go still next we are waiting for the next person <laughs> yeah. there is a level the devil pegs men and pegs their destiny you never rise beyond a level there are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters i've shared it with you very sincere people none of them died a good death mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels some of your fathers are like that they started working from 22 as it is now if you send them five thousand they will kneel down and say thank you it's a cause it's a cause some of you are in school as students but they are calling you from home anything for this month you say mommy just take it easy we keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong see let me tell you you don't deal with it you marry it follows you there you don't deal with it you because as you are married once you are standing with your necktie two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards it is because they are open to the prophetic but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of god they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out so they say no 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 and truly what they are saying is not a lie they say your trouble started from the day this lady one lady come all of a sudden you said you marry her you now got married you were a millionaire in five months five months you are looking for ten thousand to buy a new shoe mysterious things happen your first car got missing the second car police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god now looks and says ah who did you marry Tosi. <laughs> thank god you are even still alive it's just an example darling just an example are we together now give me your hand now. run away from me you want to deny me now to sin be nice to me be a nice wife are we together and then the man you see men will consult quietly they will announce in public is the anger you see publicly the man now returns home good evening darling or honey say see let me tell you I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure he stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure and this lady is sincere she loves God are we together now and they cannot un why will you call such a nice woman a witch she may not be a witch but she's connected to something that is causing that effect plus the one you are now bringing we have not even talked about the word of the man hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things and you find out that things don't work in people's lives that's why in certain villages they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what cost it doesn't happen in your village where they isolate a group of people and say these people whoever marries 
will either die or something and sincerely speaking you go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind and Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that Why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account? How many children grew up with him? Two children, he's still poor. There are families, win lottery, get anything, they will still be poor. It has nothing to do with money. It's a system. Listen, the system of causes outlive those who caused it. It can outlive it. The primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great grandmothers you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria are, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them i didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything Burn it and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work If I didn't know this, I would have been a failure all my life. Are we together? I have seen this thing happen. With all humility, I don't know how many of my extended people, especially from my paternal side, that I can look and say, this person is successful today. No. No. Causes can come directly from God. <laughs> directly from God. This is not the cause of the law. The cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing. As ancestral causes there is such a thing number three self-inflicted causes self-inflicted causes there are programmings that can come upon the lives of people which is a product of self-infliction
the cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you. It's a cause. The moment you are not in Christ, you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation. That from dust thou art, and to dust thou shalt return. That tons and thistles shall come upon your ground, and with the, the sweat of your brow shall you feed. There is a cause that is upon creation. It cannot be taken away. You can only be exempted from it. Hear me please. That is the reason why the old earth will be purged. There is a reason why fire will purge this earth. There is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now. Individuals born by default. In sin did my mother conceive me, he says. And you are a victim of it. Mortality is a cause that came with creation. There is such a possibility that a man can extend his life. You can access the reality of God's life. Failure, the cause. If you are not in Christ, listen, you are not in Christ, you qualify for the sinner's cause. It's not something bad. It's not even about what you did. It's a reality. God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways. And then I said number two, ancestral causes. Ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements. Products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities. There was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities. You see that in ancient Babylon. You see that in Egypt. The sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods. There was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them. An agreement, a covenant. Causes operate on legal grounds. They don't operate by mistake. They operate on legal grounds. There is a legal system in the kingdom. And don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A system that God is obliged to honor. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. That's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight. Who can stand against my king? No one can. No one will. Oh. When you walk out of this, many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways. Remarkable ways. Your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again. There is such a possibility that a man can sit down, bless on the left and on the right, an effulgence of Zoe, the reality of God's life, practically at work in a man. And they look at you and say, Pastor Alpha, is it true that you came from Kogi State with this rest roundabout? The witches left you, they didn't leave me, I came out. I access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you
come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption who built this house I built it at what age 27 where did you get the money from the only person that built a house here was the king of the village and he built it at 63 and you tell them well 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 welcome to a new order where intelligence creates reality do you know you would die and you say no no the same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house you had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they are like Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of God is a mystery I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil I don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counsel a couple age me they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing i did to your mother is what i would do to you she true story she got pregnant according to what she told me they were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence we went to Ida we always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference. And I remember one of the years when we traveled there, he took us on a tour and began to explain to us. We went to greet the king. The man refused to see us later on. And then we went somewhere and I saw foul. Remember, Market Square. One Market Square that we went. I saw it there with my eyes. And people were passing. Whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there. witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim you hear what I said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others I say it's because you don't know the day will do you it will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil said just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened you say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again <laughs> brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception The Western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way. Because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things. Oh, they leave it to all the spiritists and the, uh, the, the transcendental meditators. And all of them come. The nation of America, listen, their fathers 
understood this mystery they walked in power and when satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to god he left them and started growing with their children he said let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground and he started growing with the children and all the children came up with all kinds of things you know i mean there's if, if you are sick right now you cough ambulance is coming in five minutes and so they don't believe it now look at the disaster happening in the western world where people can kill themselves on youtube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant there is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there a manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness poverty and causes if we do not get this we will destroy ourselves every time i look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what i tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today, 
there is no month they don't fall sick go to the hospital they will tell you nothing is wrong now the doctors are wiser thank god for spiritual people becoming doctors they don't waste time again the moment they diagnose you they see that you have come once twice they'll say do you know what find any available crusade and run quickly go to the front early and stand there and trust god to wipe your tears that's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens I look forward to times where God will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there Shagato Soto Labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth Koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only God knows how many powers try to kill me every day I told you all the time only God knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in Israel there was a woman called the widow of Nain what killed her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not their, their brains are not even in place again madmen is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to Harvard, came back, anything they start die. The day you want to start importing it, that's when government banned it. Why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start? What of people in ministry? They think it's normal. Everybody they raise disappoints them. There is a spirit. They raise so many men, but they disappoint them. There is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they're about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of God it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent say programming you reign you ancients are 
Zionski Kadosh Kadosh You were mighty on your own Break forth Down fountains of the deep And we Kadosh You were mighty on your own Listen me how can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job is he that dull see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray Listen, listen to me. When you study the laws of mechanics, Sir Isaac Newton postulated a law. We call it the first law of mechanics. And this is what it states. That everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state. Right? It remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents' homes? There is such a thing. They bring their wife, all the cousins and their wives to their father's house. You see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house. The guy works in NMPC but cannot rent a good house. You ask him why, you say, okay, I'll do something about it. 45 years. He's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shut the womb of a milka david's wife So that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting 
it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying is a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know style a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them I'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready Psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us Psalms 102 verse 13 read it if you're a child of God one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only passed through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of god is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of god is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of god is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment 
they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god would want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a tighter i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah. The Bible says his eyes were plucked, the symbol of light in his life, and the mystery that surrounded his power, his hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of God. Everything was over. But at Samson leaned there, they didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord, he cried for mercy. And the moment he did that, see, there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercy. Meaning. My lifetime. Is too fast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work. He creates a system. A provision. See let me tell you. It is on grounds of this. That the Bible can say. Rejoice not over me my enemies. For when you think. Ah, there was a time his car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't go. Ah. The worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy. You are finished. Mercy. And Samson pushed. And the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime. What of blind Bartimaeus? Thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the bible says god will give us the desires of our heart i thought it would be thou son of david heal me he said thou son of david have mercy mercy is an open check and god had to come he left and came thou son of david there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life is not for sinners the mercy of god was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations there is such a thing as limitation if i tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting i will be lying no i have mastered the art of god's mercy years ago 
during a pastor's a pastor's conference the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to papa deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all papa deboe was saying was mercy mercy lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy 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 jesus met a woman by the well when he met that woman by the well they started a conversation number one that woman was a prostitute correct and then because of that more the disciples oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt jesus you're a bad woman and jesus started talking with her and she started touching his mercy and at the end of it that woman ran and said come and see the man who has told me what i have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye